We're talking about the high-low method of estimating cost behavior in managerial accounting. And we're going to do one more example. And we're going to use all the data that is given to us in problem five in this chapter. And in, the, in this uh, problem five, they give us like a whole year's worth by month of data about utilities. So in other words, they've taken their utility bills. And they're considering one of two different cost drivers to come up with the cost formula. One of the cost drivers is hours worked. So let's do the high-low method using hours worked, and then I'll give you the check figure for if you use the other cost driver, which is a number of jobs. So step one, find the variable rate. Well, the first thing I have to do is cruise through those 12 months of data and select the high month and the low month. And looking at the text, I'll see that the high month is August. And in August, my cost was $5,890 for utilities when the hours I worked were $1,460. So notice that this is cost over hours. So change in cost over change in hours. The low month was February, wasn't it? And in February, the total cost for utilities was $3,550 when I worked 740 hours. So finding the change between the cost and the change in the hours, I find that my variable rate is $3.25 per hour worked. Then, step two, finding our fixed cost, we plug that $3.25 either into the high point or into the low point. So you'll look at the high point and you say, well, if my utility costs were $5,890, then $3.25 of that times the 1,460 hours worked would be the variable piece of it. And if I then minus, plus, excuse me, plus fixed cost would equal what my fixed cost is. So this is a plus. Sorry about that. So solving for the fixed cost, I find my fixed cost to be $1,145 a month. If I did the same thing, or if I didn't want to do the high point, instead just want to do the low point, I would find that the total cost of $3,550 for utilities is equal to $3.25 per hour worked times 740 hours that I worked plus the fixed cost. If I then solve for the fixed cost, I'll find that the fixed cost is $1,145. So whether I use the high point or the low point, do I get the same fixed cost? Which is a good thing for me with my math skills, so I can check myself so I know it's right. The last thing we'll do then is the cost formula. Well, that means that the cost formula for utilities each month is going to be equal to $3.25 per hour work. plus the fixed cost of $1,145. So that means I can use this cost formula within my relevant range of activity. In other words, the activity I understand, which is between 740 hours and 1,460 hours of hours worked. And can I do a pretty good job of estimating cost? Yes. Now, I could do the same problem all over again but instead of using the driver of cost of hours, I could do it in job, uh, jobs worked. If I do it in jobs worked, I will find that my utilities each month will be equal to, and I've already done the high-low, so I'm giving you a check figure here. Uh, it would be equal to $65 for each job plus a fixed cost of $1,145. So whether I drive the utility cost or predict my utility cost on jobs or on hours worked, notice I can come up with a cost formula to predict the future.